In today's health alert, opioid overdoses have been skyrocketing, but hope is on the way. The FDA announcing yesterday its approval of the first over-the-counter version of Narcan. It's a move that should provide easier access to this life-saving drug. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now. And Dr. Nandy, we know many deaths from op opioids are of adults, but there's an uptick in children. Will this help families? Uh, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. So we have a lot of folks, right? Over 80,000 deaths in 2021 due to opioids. Way too many. But while most of the overdose are adults, data found that nearly 9,000 deaths between 1999 and 2016 were kids and adolescents, and the highest rates were amongst those aged 15 to 19. Now, where do many of these deaths happen? Well, they happen at home, where someone is usually close by who can help. But sadly, by the time emergency services arrive, it's too late to save the life. And that's why it's so important that naloxone, the generic name for Narcan, needs to be available over the counter. This drug can save a life within minutes, and it reverses an opioid overdose for about 90 minutes. What's great about it is that it can be given to anyone, including children and babies. So we need to get it in the hands of families, friends and neighbors. And it would also encourage schools, restaurants and businesses to consider stocking it as well. So how does it work and when will it be available? Two important questions, yeah. right? So first of all, Narcan only works on opioids, Linda, like prescription medications, heroin and fentanyl. But you're not always going to know if someone's overdosing on an opioid or not. Regardless of that, if you suspect a drug overdose, you can still administer Narcan because it will not have adverse or bad effects if the person didn't have opioids. How Narcan works is by attaching to what's called the opioid receptors, blocking the drug's effect on the brain and restores breathing, but it only reverses the effects of the overdose if given right away. So it's important to give it right away, of course. Sometimes two doses are needed, but if only if a person doesn't respond after two or three minutes. That's why each package will have two nasal spray devices. I want to stress that once this drug is administered, you still have to call 911 and the person watched until help arrives. You can't leave the scene because opioids can stay in the system longer than the drug is active. As for when the drug will be available, it's expected to be ready mm -hmm. for purchase by late summer. Uh, to me, it's exciting. It'll likely be available online and in convenience stores grocery stores and possibly vending machines. You know, you go into medicine, right, as a doctor to sure. save lives, and things like this directly affect people. No judgments, you're there just to be able to reverse it and then and save someone's life as they're dying, and people are dying every day. Wow, Doc, we appreciate it. Thank pleasure, you. My pleasure. All right, and don't forget to watch the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend. He'll be talking about superbugs, how they're investigated and treated. So tune in Sunday, 1 p.m. right here on Channel 7. And if you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.